So when it comes to documenting your journey, which I talked about in the different YouTube videos, you can look at that up, documenting your journey, and you can search on my channel or search my name. Uh, the question often is, well, how broadly should I get? So let's say that I'm going to, let's say I'm a doc training expert and uh, I'm documenting my journey of, of, or let's say I want to become a dog trainer. And I'm documenting my journey of, you know, I already like dogs and I already have some sense of it, but I'm documenting my journey of training my own dog and then maybe documenting my journey along the way of training uh, my friend's dogs or whatever. And then all the mistakes I'm making along the way and all the insights I'm learning and all the, all the um, aha moments I've had, you know, I'm going to make that in, the, in all the series of videos or blog posts or whatever. And then the question is, well, how, George, how broad can I be with this? What if uh, well, there's two questions here. One, what if I don't know if I want to be a dog trainer? What if I want to become a chef? Or what if I want to become a life coach? What if I want to become a Reiki healer? If I'm all these things, I don't know which one. How can I document my journey? And here's what I want to say. If you don't know, I, this is I, I love talking to people about this because what I see too often is people go, uh, you, should be, you should decide if you're going to be a Reiki healer or a yoga teacher or a life coach, you should decide now before you begin the marketing journey and decide now, spend the $5,000 for the website, <laughs> design, copywriting, you know, launch platform, whatever. And then you go out perfect looking, you know, a life coach, I'm a Reiki healer, I'm a astrologer, you know, perfect. You're... And then you find out a year later, oh my God, astrology is fun, but I don't, for various reasons, I don't really want to be in this field. I actually want to be a Reiki healer or I really actually want to be a dog trainer. Where are my $10,000 of my whole year now of, all, of spending all this time building this astrology audience? Do you see what I mean? This is the problem that I see again in 13 years of being in this field. I see this so often. This is why you notice my brand is George Cow. This is a separate topic for multi-passion and multi-talented, but back to documenting your journey. How do we apply this? This is beautiful. This is why you document trying to figure it out. Yeah, you already, you know, ideally you have some time for this. You have some months or some years, ideally. I, I want to say this to all teenagers, right? To all 20-somethings, to all 30-somethings. Like, I wish I, I wish I knew this when I was in my 30s or in my 20s or my teens, all right? Before that, that's probably too, too young to be on video, in my opinion. But, you know, I wish I knew this earlier in my life because then I would be, I would build a YouTube channel, blog post, blog, newsletter, you know, Instagram, um, maybe TikTok, you know, Medium, et cetera. I would build an online platform with me as a personal brand, trying to figure out what the F I'm doing with my life. I would be like, I just learned about Reiki the other day. And I'm going to now document my learning the Reiki journey and maybe even trying it out on some friends, seeing if they find benefit, and maybe creating a business, create a service from it. Maybe. Oh my God. And then next week, I just learned about spiral dynamics, you know, and now I'm going to go and look into the integral theory and like geek out on that. And like, oh my gosh, I think I want to become an integral life coach now. You know, half a year after I said I was, I was a Reiki master or I want to build myself out. Now, next, now I'm going to become an integral life coach. That's okay. It's okay. I'm an integral life coach who also knows Reiki. Oh my God, next year I discovered, discovered the power of astrology and how amazing that is. Oh my gosh, why didn't I think about it? I went document my journey of learning that. And now I'm an integral life coach who, who integrates astrology and Reiki. Powerful, amazing, right? So, so people who follow my journey along the way, starting with friends and family, you know, first they're going to say, ja, George, you're so, you're so, um, uh, you know, you're, 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 you're so wishy-washy. You're all over the place. Judge me all you want. That's what I say. Because I know that I am courageous enough to pursue my purpose, to explore what that means. And I'm courageous enough to show this journey to the world, which then inspires others to pursue and explore their purpose. What are you complaining about? What are you judging me about? You should go and discover, you don't have to do it publicly, but go and explore your purpose instead of complaining about me, mine. Right, my journey. Right, wish you call me whatever you want, flake. All good. It's all good, because my potential is unlimited, and I'm looking at all these different things. And yes, I'm going to say, oh my God, this is the best thing in the whole life that I've ever learned. One day, 
right? And then two weeks later, no, 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 this is the best thing ever, ever in the whole world. Everyone should know this. That's okay. That's part of the aha journey. Aha means, oh, this is the best. And then next week, this is the best. No, next week, that's the best. That's part of the journey. And the audience finds that entertaining to watch. And not just entertaining, they become, you build a whole audience of friends. Hopefully years, right? Years into this, you build an audience of friends. I mean, by the way, this is how some of the biggest YouTubers who make a very good living now on YouTube, this is how they did, this is how they did it. This is what an influencer, this is what, this is what personal brand means in this day. It's, it's teenagers many times who, of course, you know, one of the top, top uh, jobs teenagers want now is become a YouTube influencer, right? They just want to be able to talk about their life and make money doing it, and which is you can too. As an adult now, you are much wiser about how you want to explore and how you want to share, what, what, what aspects of vulnerability you're willing to, to that's wise to, to reveal, all that stuff. So long story short, um, when you're still exploring as a multi-passionate person, you document all of it. And, and then you bring this audience of friends along with you, people who find you, strangers who were referred, you know, ah, this person's journey is interesting, check it out, reminds me of me or reminds me of someone I know, you know, check, watch, watch, watch her journey, whatever. And then, then you, as you launch things like, oh, now I'm going to launch an integral life coaching service. Great. People go, I've, I've watched you learn this stuff. Now I'm interested in myself. Sure. Let me become your client. So I hope this is helpful.